Thanks for taking my beginning guitar course. We're going to cover everything you need to know to be able to play your first song, including chords and single notes. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to talk about using a pick first, okay? And here's my pick. It's a nice red one. And I use a medium pick, but this shape is important to use. Picks come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. So let's try just the standard size and shape. And it's really important for you to use a thin pick. And the reason for this is when you're holding the pick, you're going to be gripping it pretty tight because you're not used to holding it. And we want something with a lot of flexibility so it can go through the string rather easily. Now the way we're going to hold the pick, I'm going to hold it like this so you can see the shape. I'm going to get it kind of closer there. All right. Let me get that thing lined up there. All right. So here we are. We have the pick. Okay. And my picking hand thumb is going to go on the other side of that. That's why this is kind of nice because it's kind of clear. You can see through it. See where my thumb goes there. And the index finger is going to go right on the other side, just like that. So the thumb and the index finger are going to be perpendicular. Okay. And we want to have just enough exposed to where we have a good grip on the pick but also there's enough to get through the string without brushing our fingers and thumb across the strings as well. Now we have the other three fingers here, these, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to take them and we're going to put them in our palm like this. So your hand should look almost like a really light gripped fist, okay? So that's what's going on there. That's what that should look like, all right? So from here, we're going to talk about getting through the strings. We're going to take the pick, we're going to set it on the top of string six, okay? Now remember the string numbers, this is going to be string 6 nearest your face, and then string 1 on the other side. Okay? Another way that's helpful for some people, 1 being a small number, assign it to the small string. 6 being the larger number, assign it to the larger string. That will help us keep it in mind sometimes. So we're going to take the pick and set it on string 6. Okay? And we want to apply a little bit of pressure until we push through and rest on the top of string 5, like this. Then once we're on string 5, we're going to push through that and rest on string 4. And once we go through string 4, resting on string 3, and then through string 3 onto string 2, and through string, one onto, or string 2 onto string 1, and then through string 1, and just staying below. Okay. Now the reason we're doing this is because we want to get used to where the other strings are and we want to move in a straight line. Okay? What happens to a lot of people if they're not using this technique for learning how to use the pick is that they will try really hard to avoid the other strings because they're learning how to play so they start playing and they accidentally hit the other strings. Well with this we're using the other strings as a way to stop us from moving but also not moving away from the instrument. So what happens when people are doing that and then they try and protect themselves from hitting the other strings, they'll bounce. Pulling themselves away from the strings and then having to dive in like a bird trying to get a fish out of water. Well, doing that causes you to be inaccurate later when you're having to play at a certain speed. So for now we want to learn how to rest against the other strings so we know where they are and we're not moving away from the strings so we have to find them again. We know exactly where they are. So, you want to make sure that, again, you're keeping these fingers tucked into the palm, and then your arm is going to sit right on the seam of the instrument, okay? So we have a little crease on our elbow right here, okay? So that crease goes right against this line right here. Now, whether you have it all the way in the back, a little more toward the front, that's fine. It doesn't really matter, as long as your pick is generally over the uh, second half of the sound hole. That's what this is on the instrument, the sound hole course where the sound comes out. So uh, that's where we want to have the pick. So wherever your elbow ends up being along this line is fine. We want to center the hand first. Okay? And no part of the hand is going to rest on the strings or on the bridge or otherwise on the face of the instrument. So we have the contact at the elbow and then we have the pick contacting the strings and that's all we want to have happen. Okay? So I'll push through these strings so that you can see how it goes. We're going to use down all the way through and then we're going to lift or use an upstroke all the way through them as well. Okay?
So there you go. Now we want to get used to doing that so that we get used to going through one string at a time because that's a little tricky. Now you can spend a little bit of time working on strumming just to get used to moving from the elbow. Okay? And the way we're moving is that we're just swinging from the elbow. We're not going to swing from the wrist necessarily. You don't want it tight where you're tense, but you want it um, to be somewhat relaxed so that you're not holding excess tension but not moving from there, moving from the elbow instead. Okay? So it's kind of like using a hammer. Okay? That's how we're going to move. All right? So I'll just play a little bit of that, and it'll sound wretched because we're not playing a nice chord. I'm not going to play a nice chord because you don't know any yet. So we'll just play like this, okay? All right? And what you're wanting to sound is all of the strings as if they're all popping out at once, okay? So with my downstroke, you hear all the strings that way. With my upstroke, we hear them that way as well. Now they do sound a little bit different, but that's just because we're hitting the low notes first with the downstroke and the high notes first with the upstroke. But we don't want to uh, have any scooping. In other words, we don't want to sound like this. Okay, and that's caused by turning the wrist. Okay, turning this way as if we're turning a key. Okay, we want to keep the pick flat. So when we're strumming. We're just moving in a straight line, just like that. See how that works? Okay. So that's what we're looking for, just moving in that straight line. So we get all six strings down, all six strings up. All right. So just like that. So, with your first bit of working with the pick, you're going to practice just downstroke. through each of the strings that way, and then upstroke the same way. Make sure you're resting against each string as you go through. It's going to um, arrive at the string with a little bit of a snap. So there you go. Those are the ways we use the pick at the start. Thanks.